thing that, you know, Carmen could have ever have gotten was the Freedom School program. Because since she's been in there, her reading has enhanced a whole, whole lot. And she just been got brighter since she's been with the Freedom School. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Freedom School is, was, um, it was a program it, during the Civil Rights Movement. Um, to educate um, not just young people, but really all all people about um, sort of how to be a citizen and, and to give them kind of a a more engaged um, educational experience over the summer than what they were getting in underserved Mississippi segregated um, Jim Crow schools. Um, and it was sort of revived in the early 90s um, by the Children's Defense Fund and has since um, sort of spread across the nation. Um, so, and last year, Woodlawn, um, Woodlawn Children's Promise Committee um, decided that the model of Freedom School was, um, was an important one to bring to this community. All so, right. The book we have today is called Bright Eyes, Brown Skin. On a basic scale, what we want to do is engage 120 kids, you know, for five days a week from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., <laughs> We, uh, we know we want them to read. We want to expose them to books. We know we want them to, to we want to have a, a one to 10 ratio. So one adult to every 10 children. So these, these are the numbers, you know, six weeks over the summer. So when we look back, we'll, we'll be able to say, we touched the lives of this many kids. We, we the, each kid read this many books, you know. So th there's all of that quantitative, those numbers that help us to determine whether or not we're successful. <laughs> are the first teachers you know and there needs to be a lot of work done to really align what's happening at the schoolhouse with what's happening at their house and parents are are the liaisons between that you know so it's it's extremely important these are the opportunities that we have to get parents engaged in what's happening at the school and really making sure that they support it, that they encourage it, that whatever we are doing with the kids, that they're also doing the same stuff at home. This is a, like the, an interpretation of how Tibet would look based on some pictures they saw. And that comes from the book Tashi and the Tibetan Flower Cure, where you learn about how people cure themselves in Tibet using flowers. But I think they're really getting a lot of what we're trying to teach them. And you know, not just the stories, but also the morals and ideas and the wisdom behind the stories. So they're catching on to all of that. So we're really proud of what they're doing so far. We think they're accomplishing a lot. On Freedom School, it's learning is fun. You know, and that's what I wanted to be. I want her to learn to love to read, which she does. I need to purchase a new library uh, bookcase. I think education is, is the way to set people free. It's really important for us to be able to take them out on excursions um, for a couple reasons. One, they get a chance to see the city of Chicago, get exposed to some of the things that um, they don't get a chance to normally see. Um, a lot of our children spend a lot of time in their neighborhoods, on their block, and they only get a chance to see one thing. But when they come out on these excursions, they get a chance to see the rest of the city, which is pretty diverse, um, and get a lot of exposure. What do you think they might be burning up in the sky? Copper. Copper, yeah. And if they burn, a, uh, let's say it's a hot pink colored firework, what do you think they might be burning? Lithium. Lithium, yeah. This is one of the many field trips that we um, are taking this summer um, here at the Museum of Science and Industry. We, bought, we brought all of our, our scholars here to the trip. Um, it's about 120 of them total. And uh, it's really important for us to be able to take them out on excursions. Um. Voting is power. But right now, they're actually working on um, our project for the National Day of Action, which this year is focused on voting. So right now, they're making signs that we're going to use on our community walk. Voting is very important, and we are doing it to make sure people get the vote. They don't have to vote for Obama, they can vote for anybody they want to vote.
for. Vote for me! Vote for me! Vote for me! Vote for me! Today we're going to probably walk around for like an hour or so and try to raise awareness and consciousness about the important, importance of voting.